the best and cheapest sports drink for running, cycling and other endurance sports might actually already be found in your kitchen cabinet. That's right, I am talking about white table sugar and it has completely revolutionized my training sessions. So let's dive into the science behind all this. When doing easy endurance work on my bike, I aim for around 60 to 70 grams of carbs per hour. On the more intense session, I would up that number to around 90 to 120 grams per hour. Doing this, I have found myself having much more energy on all my sessions and at the same time, I can feel my body recovering faster and better resulting in me being able to train both more and harder. But consuming these amounts of carbs using only solid food can be a real challenge. So that is when a sports drink comes in handy. However, most of these sports drinks only give you about 40 to 50 grams of carbs per bottle. There are options from brands such as Sis and Morton, which gives you about 80 grams of carbs per bottle but I have found these to be way too expensive to use on a daily basis. And it wasn't until I watched one of Jesse Coyle's YouTube videos, I realized I had been ignoring the most obvious source of carbs of them all, white sugar. To understand how this can be, we need to talk about ratios. There are a lot of sports nutrition brands out there who all claim to have the superior carb ratio in their products. Most seem, however, to have stuck to the two to one ratio between glucose and fructose. The reasoning behind this is that this ratio improves the cell's ability to oxidize more than 60 grams of carbs per hour, which seems to be the upper limit when consuming only one type of carbohydrate. With the two to one formula, the brands claim to up this number to about 90 grams per hour. And this is because the different types of carbohydrates uses different transporters when absorbed from the gut. However, CIS recently changed to a one to 0.8 formula for their premium beta fuel products based on a study from 2013. This study stated that oral carbohydrate hydration formulations containing fructose, maltodextrin, glucose at a ratio of around 0.8 up to 1 may provide the most practical benefit for endurance athletes. CIS therefore claims that this 1 to 0.8 ratio makes intakes of above 120 grams of carbs an hour possible. But looking at the conclusion of the study, so would a 1 to 1 ratio. And as Jesse Coyle so nicely pointed out in his YouTube video, sugar, also known as sucrose, has this one-to-one -one ratio between glucose and fructose. That's right, sugar water allows you to absorb as many carbs an hour as cis, beta fuel or other premium alternatives. As I mentioned, I have been using sugar water on my bottles for the past months and the results are just phenomenal. I have been able to mix around 100 grams of sugar in each of my 750 milliliter bottles. My highest intake has also been well over 100 grams an hour of sugar without any gut issues whatsoever. Doing this, I feel way better on the bike and more energetic and it really helps my body to have the energy that it demands for different sessions. So let's talk about money. If we compare the price of one kilogram of pure sugar to one kilogram of carbs from a sports drink, you will quickly see that a sports drink is about 10 to 20 times as expensive as the table sugar. For me, that was definitely one of the biggest reasons to make the switch from sports drink to table sugar in my training. However, there are of course some drawbacks of using sugar as a sports drink that I feel the need to point out. Sugar water is sweet and by that I mean very very sweet. So this is certainly not for everyone. As for other foods containing a lot of sugar, it's not the best for your teeth either. Therefore, I still use sports drink in my races. 
With a sports drink, I find that the taste is more bearable in higher quantities and I also get the bonus of some electrolytes. If you're a salty sweater and want to try out the sugar sports drink after watching this video, I recommend you add in some table salt into the drink mix as well. The salt also doubles up as a way to moderate some of the sweetness. This can also be achieved by using some kind of citrus, mainly lemon juice. But now, before you go bananas with your carb intake, no pun intended, I suggest that you up your carb intake gradually because the gut can and needs to be trained to tolerate a higher amount of carbs when training. But all in all, I think everybody should give the old trusty sugar a chance. As I mentioned, it has completely revolutionized my fueling strategies on the bike. And remember, the more energy you're able to get in, the more power you're able to put out. So that's it for this video. I hope you all found it interesting. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.